that's actually no that's a great visual explainer for why the order matters yeah the order in linear algebra the order, order matters. matters that's brilliant i totally get it it's yeah it makes sense right totally and so heisenberg publishes this really weird multiplication rule that says that if i multiply two like a times b that's different from if i multiply b times a okay okay on commutation okay okay the commutation is central to the multiplication right. of normal numbers, right? right? Five times four equals four times five equals yes, 20. Right, right. That's why but, I'm, I'm furrowing my brow. Yeah, but now you're like, uh, and even Heisenberg's like, uh, uh, so the, the, even he didn't know the magic trick that he was pulling. But he wrote this up. He sends it to his postdoc advisor, Max Born. Um, and Max Born's like, oh, dude, these are matrices. Okay. Because Max Born has had the experience of being a mathematical physicist yeah, for 20 years. Yeah, right. And in matrices, matrices are, are ways in which like you can manipulate vectors yep. such that they point in different directions, that you stretch them out and things like that. That's like standard linear algebra. Linear algebra back then was not something that every physicist took, which is why Heisenberg had no idea what the yeah, hell he was doing. Okay. Right? But Max Born had done mathematics. Um, and to give you a sense of why this commutation thing works, I'm going to give you a little demonstration, okay? okay? We got the gold eagle. This is why I wanted the gold eagle Straight in the from beginning. The White House. Okay, so it's, it's an abstract like object. Yes. Okay, and one of the ways to visualize what matrices do is you can have a three by three matrix, yes. all with a bunch of sines and cosines. The angle of rotation that you rotate an object. Okay. Frequently in video games, also like when you're when you, when you like rotate stuff, or you're using matrices to actually render. It's like this three axis. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like system. there's like X, Y, Z. Yeah. And so, okay, that makes so, sense. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to apply two different matrices to this thing. Okay. Two different rotation matrices, okay. but in different orders. Okay. Okay. So oh. let's going to start off with, yeah. we're going to start off with the eagle fo facing away from me. Yes. The first rotation we're going to do is along the Z axis. So from the top down, yeah. we're going to rotate 90 degrees towards you to okay. the left. Okay. Okay. And the second one we're going to do yeah. is along this axis when it's going to rotate away from me downward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So the first thing 90 degrees along you, now it's facing you. Yes. Now we rotate along this axis. Thank so you. it's facing downward. Yeah. And it's looking like that. Yes. Okay. Okay. So it's an Eagle. That's like kind of like lying down yeah. on the table, lying down facing you. Yes. Okay. Now let's start again. I'm okay. Now I'm going to do it the opposite direction. Yeah. I'm going to first rotate along this axis. Yeah. 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 Now yeah. it's facing down. And then now I'm going to rotate along this axis. Yeah. yeah. Now it's facing downward. Yes. Yes. See? And this is why the order. The of order matters. Matters. Because this is a matrix. Right. We didn't multiply this by a simple number. Right. The orientation of this thing, I applied a matrix to it. Right. Right. That right, gave right. me a new orientation. Right. Right. Within, versus. Yes. 